right, guys, what are we going to do this morning? We're going to do five fast budget knives. And the reason is because I wanted to get this out of the box and I haven't gotten around to it yet. So we're going to look at five brilliant budget knives real fast. Guys, before we do that, though, I have to remind you that the channel is self-sponsored. I'm doing that YouTuber thing. There's a whole bunch of affiliate links down below. That's how I support the channel. Anything you purchase does not cost you anything extra, but it definitely supports the channel. And there's a lot of stuff down there. So if you're going to buy some stuff, I appreciate it if you you'd use those links. Now, let's turn this around. Take a look at these five brilliant knives from above. But first, turn on the volume because here comes a little bit of music. Look at these five budget knives. Now, I will say that this one is not as budget as the others, but I picked these out because these are more affordable knives that are really, really great. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at these five knives. So I've picked out a showing of things that you may not have seen yet, may not have been in videos yet, but I have looked at, I have messed with a little bit, but some of these have not gotten first day of pocket. As a, as a, fact, as a matter of fact, the majority of these have not. So as always, we're going to start with this middle one here and I placed that strategically because well that's one that I was really excited to get to see so let's get these other knives out of the way and there we go all the other knives are out of the way so they're not really they're just off to the side so this is the Kaiser mini roach now I owned a roach and I gave it away I didn't do it as a channel giveaway I gave it away to someone because I didn't carry it as often as I you know to justify keeping it <clears throat> and they needed, and I've got to apologize to you guys. I have got some of the worst allergies I've had in a very long time debating whether there's going to be a live feed tonight or not. So this is the mini roach and this thing is done gorgeously. The action on it is amazing. It is just shy of drop shut. Just a little shake, reverse flick, flipper tab, nice pocket clip that is not very hot it's even though it's a small knife it's in a position where it's not real hot beautiful blade nice hollow on this it comes down nice and thin behind the edge it is a very very functional shape comfortable in hand especially when you get up on it like this you can do some heavy cutting small detail work stuff like this these knives are great now i'm not going to put the price of the knives up i put i will put them across the bottom with the name of the knife when i do that in post um but this is a gorgeous knife that is done in some materials that are going to do some cost savings it's all g10 gray g10 and it gives you some pop it gives you a nice look steel liners it's not too heavy it looks attractive but it's done in materials that is going to save you some money kaiser's been getting it right lately this thing is a knife i have been really excited to see and it's got a very good look to it so you got nice facets on the blade and stuff like that now i have not carried this much yet this is probably one of the next knives that go in but literally even the little thoughts like yeah this is kind of a short knife for a guy with big hands but on this on this little knife i can get a full four fingers because they left me a little spot here up as opposed to that knife i did the other day the the we press check as a matter of fact it's sitting right here this the problem i had with this there's, there's no real comfortable way. When you get down here, you're, that's all hot spot. This well thought out, sculpted out little area here for guys with bigger hands gives me a full four fingers on what is a shorter knife than the Wii Press Check. So really well thought out. Nice, nice knife. The Kaiser Mini Roach. Let's go ahead and bring in the next one. Now, this knife is not as budget as some of the others. There's a couple of knives that are going to be, you know, in varying prices, but this is the Wee Bellamy. Now, you guys saw the video I did about this knife. This is a great knife. I still have not sent it back to Jared just because I do love this knife so much. I'm going to... I'm going to probably forget to put it in the box again this time. So the Wee Bellamy, great, great knife. Um, I did the video about it. It has got some of the most insane action at the price. And like I said, the price will be with the name. I'll look it back up. Carbon fiber, M390, beautiful action, gorgeous blade. The pocket clip on it, even though it is a, a, a tall, deep carry pocket clip, is beautiful perfect in both tension and the way it feels in hand no hot spots if you're a guy that likes front flippers front flipper option it is a liner lock so if you do 
Um, not if you are one of the people like me that typically doesn't like uh, front flippers, you're not put. You can deploy this. It's great because you're not putting any tension on the lock bar, and the fact it is a liner lock, you just nothing. You're not having any issues with feeling that cut out on it. The thing cuts beautifully. It goes, it's nice and thin behind the edge. Nice hollow ground blade. Beautiful, beautiful shape on that clip point blade. You can reverse flick it off the fuller. So you have three deployment methods. You got front flip, back flip, and, you know, front flipper, back flipper. Man, that action, you hear it? it just slams open. And reverse flick off of the fuller. And in hand, this thing cuts beautifully. It lines just up the way you want. Uh, this is one of those knives that is kind of sway back, so the blade is up a little bit. So if you're cutting like this, you may bust your knuckles. But this one, if you're push cutting through cardboard, this thing just screams through anything you're cutting with it. Um, and like I said, beautiful finish and everything on it. So this is another knife. Might not be as budget as a couple of the others here, but still really, really good budget offering. That's not as it, you, you're paying less for this knife than you should. So there you go. The Bellamy, the Vostede Bellamy in M390. All right, this next knife is a very budget, very affordable offering. This is the Citibian ST124 in D2 steel. Uh, I just did another uh, one of their knives here not too long ago, the, the uh, Warncliffe style. This is every bit as good, really comfortable in hand. And if memory serves me this is about the same price point um i accidentally looked it up this has not had a first day in pockets so um price point on this i'll put across the bottom but i'm not going to look it up because this is going directly in my pocket that's the next video i'm filming is first day in pockets on this uh other knives i basically already know the price point on so beautifully done thumb flipper with a, an access lock there is very little there actually is no blade play in that uh Axis lock style, their sliding bar lock. Um, really comfortable in hand. Nicely ground blade that comes up pretty thin for as broad, uh, for as as thick as that blade stock is. Which it's pretty thick. That's some pretty thick blade stock. It's ground beautifully down to a nice edge. It's not super super thin behind the edge, but it is good. It cuts well. I have done a little bit of just test cutting with this because I knew I was going to put it in a video today. But you're looking at kind of a plain Jane knife where they've put the work into specific things. Handle material is in G10. It does have a great big lanyard hole if that's something you want, but they did a really good job with doing some internal milling for uh, weight reduction. And it, the action on it is great. It snaps open really well. The access lock is nice and smooth. You've got a very, very good blade for cutting. Like the Vostid uh, Bellamy, it does have a little bit of a sway back to it, a little bit of a sweep. Now, when I say sway back, I'm not talking like the like the sway back jack or anything. I'm talking like a pony that has been ridden too soon. It's called sway back, where it goes from, from hips to shoulders. There's a low area in it. Um, nice thumb ramp on it there. The thumb studs are just about perfect for a knife this size. No chance those thumb studs are getting away. It's sharpening. And like I said, it's ground really, really well. And it comes down pretty thin. That's a pretty thin edge. So everything about this knife just is one of those ones that's going to be one of those budget knives that you get more for your money than what you should. Like this knife should cost more. Because if I remember right, this is an under $30 knife. So there you go, guys. The ST124. There you go for you guys. Next one I guarantee is going to be a little bit more expensive. I have not looked up price, but I will look up price for you guys for the name and price down here. This is a CJRB Caldera. Now, CJRB knives are great. They are um, basically a sister company to Artisan. Uh, Artisan and the owner of Artisan and the art owner of CJRB are like best of friends. They've been super good friends for years. Artisan is an American company. CGRB is a Chinese company, but they share a production line. So you're going to see a lot of these um, on the same areas, CGRB and Artisan. This is the Caldera. It is so comfortable. This knife is super comfortable in hand. I like some of these designs they're coming out with the big cleaver blade. I like the Mastiff. This is another one that just has a really good design. You're getting so much blade and handle and it's balanced it feels so good and well balanced action on it as i would expect super smooth from cjrb almost fall shut huge aperture in that cleaver style blade for reverse flick nice 
well done fit and finish on this the g10 coming up nice and clean with some milling and some micro milling and then you've got some uh some pop and accent on these red pivot colors that's kind of a thing that cgrb that's like their thing is the black and red and i like it just that little splash of color the blade is a very cleanly shaped i mean if, if you look at it it's basically a sheep's foot but they've done a really good job giving it some pop and some accents. Nice little swept out area here with a full, with a swedge that goes down. Comes down nice and thin. I did cut a cardboard box up with this. This is in the ARRPM9. This is a prototype. So, well, I may not get a price for you. But this is a ARP, ARRPM9 prototype of this knife. This thing is, this thing's nice. The only thing that I would say. The only thing that I've noticed in like the 20 minutes that I've had this out messing with it before we shot this video, the jimping is a little soft. The jimping's a little soft and just basically it's there for looks. It kind of got softened out and rounded over in the finishing process. But all in all, great looking knife, great cutter. That is so comfortable in hand. Super, super comfortable. So there you go, guys. The CJRB Caldera Prototype. This is the Kubi Royal. Now, Kubi's been bringing a lot of really good offerings to the plate lately, and this is no different. Now, this is a front flipper. Uh, it does not have any thumb studs. It does not have a flipper tab, but what they've given you is a ample fuller for reverse flick. So I'm good with that. I like this knife a lot. It is, it's, not the, it's not so much the action. I like the blade shape. I like the way it feels in hand, and I like the fact that they've given you a deep carry pocket clip that is really comfortable. So I'm actually gonna be shooting a video about this. I'm gonna get this in pocket soon, but bang, do you hear that? The action on this thing is is nuts if I can get on it. Um, Kubi's been knocking it out of the park lately, and this one has got a balance that I really like. It feels a little bit heavy forward and light in the tail, and I like that because you know where that blade is. You don't have to think about where it's at, where you're using it, and you don't have to worry about like, wow, uh, like, Sometimes knives that don't have that balance, you kind of have to watch it. You have to look at it and see where you're at and what you're doing with that blade. On this, no, you don't. Um, blade shape on it is gorgeous. It is a nice, I guess, almost spear point, clip point. Um, but it comes down, you got a nice, nice, big flat area, which I like. And then if you need a little bit of belly, it's up front. So as opposed to a lot of knives that have like... Uh, the Bellamy is one of them, where it has that really abrupt swing up where you lose a lot of the usefulness. This stays nice and straight where you can do some detail or some heavy cutting work. And then it's got that belly if you need to cut around something, but it's not so pronounced. It drops down nice. It's a good looking knife. The G10 on it has got some milled out areas here that I dig. Uh, I, the first knife I had that had some of these, I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. I think it was the Citadel uh, Warncliffe that I did, and it had some really pronounced, it was a lot more pronounced on that knife. But this is a really great, really comfortable knife. Even the jimping isn't too bad. It's not as soft as some of the others. It could be a little sharper, but it's not bad. This is done in D2 steel. It's a CM design. Great little knife. I'm going to be looking forward now that I've pulled it out. Like I was impressed. I, I had this out for unboxing and first impressions. And then I kind of forgot about it and I pulled it. I was going through stuff that was here that you guys hadn't seen. That was all budget stuff. And I was like, oh, wow, I forgot about that knife. So this is going to wind up in pockets soon. I'm pretty impressed with it. Just first blush. Well, I guess second impression. Sometimes second impressions are as good as a first impression. There you go, guys. That was five brilliant budget knives. Let's get this turned around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. There you go. There was five brilliant budget knives. And like I said, I got to, I, I decided to do this this morning because I wanted to mess with the mini roots before I even got to do first day in pockets. It has not been in pocket yet. Still, it will get its own first day in pockets video. But Guys, that's it on this one. I just wanted to do this. I just wanted to get this knife out. I had to find four other budget knives I like too. So if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why I can't change that content. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, and hit the bell icon. And if you do like this channel, a lot of the content you see here is directly responsible to one person, Mr. Jared Neves over at Neves Knives. He sends me all this stuff you see on the channel, well, the majority of the stuff you see on this channel, and I can't thank him enough, so also go give him a like, a share, and a subscribe. Uh, if you want to support this channel financially, there's a handful of ways you can do it. Like I said at the beginning, I have a ton of affiliate links down below, especially the Amazon stuff, which 
Anything you click on with those Amazon affiliate links, I get credit even if it's not the item you clicked on. If you buy shampoo, chia seeds, dried strawberries, it doesn't matter. I still get credit for it. So if you're gonna do some shopping, I appreciate that. But I also have Amazon, or not Amazon, I have Blade HQ affiliate links and a couple others down there, including a coffee brand coffee company, which it's really good coffee. Um, other ways you can do it, I have a membership down below that is tier-based. Pick the tier that gets you what you want out of the membership. <clears throat> but remember, everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. Everyone has access to my Gilded server. And if you're a premium tier member, you have access to a sharpening tutorial series that I made for those guys. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. If you're going to buy some stuff on Ember Shirt Co., even if it's not my designs, I can save you 10% at checkout with my coupon code Crazy Sharp. Capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp saves you 10% at checkout. And if you buy my merchandise and send me pictures of you wearing them, I will put them in a video. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.